we're um, building the practice carillon, or the new one. So when we started the process, the estimation the manufacturer gave us was something along the lines of, I think, a few hundred human hours? The one in Spurrier is getting older, and, um, and things are starting to fall out of it. Well, they've been falling out of it actually for a while now. And so it'll be really nice to have this practice carillon um, that's newer. You won't have to wear earplugs when you play it. But also because it'll be another carillon, uh, practice carillon that we can have time on. So it'll offer us more time to practice um, throughout the year so that we can have better performances on the real carillon up in Rush Rees. Well, it started in lots of big boxes, lots of parts and bags, um, and a somewhat almost complete set of directions. Um, could have been more detailed, but it made it a little bit more fun. <laughs> we have a diagram for everything we have to make and a series of online videos, most of which are useful. Yeah, we started back in finals week of last semester. That would be the fall of 2016. Um, during finals week, when everybody has actually a lot more free time. <laughs> it's electronic, so it's hooked up via like MIDI um, to a synthesizer. So we'll be able to like play different instruments while playing like the carillon. So that might be fun for audio engineering people. Like they could possibly like code things for it, and we could work with them. With my independent study and recording the carillon, I can even record each individual bell because um, I'd like to do a spectral analysis of each mm -hmm. one. So if I record each individual one, um, right now it has bronze clappers and in the summer they're changing it to iron. If I can record it with the bronze clappers now, and so that then we can, we can switch this carillon from bronze to brass of like the Hopeman carillon. So we could like go back in time yeah. with this. That would be super cool. Last time, it was in a different room and we were kind of testing the sound just to make sure it works, but now we have it in a whole different room, and, now, and once we got it in its final room, that was, kind of, that was kind of a, it was a turning point, it's like, okay, now we can actually get it all set up with its final setup, and that's what we have now. We have the practice carol on, sending its sound, the sound signal, the MIDI signal, over to a keyboard, which sends that signal to the computer, and then the computer, a program on the computer is what gives us our bell sounds and then we send those back through a mixer into a speaker, and then out of the speaker comes bell sounds. <laughs>